happy new year compliments to everyone guys it has started you will be hearing happy new year until march please accept it and receive it ne? welcome back to my channel my name is joey Lamini. thank you for being here if you are new please consider subscribing if you are returning thank you so much for your comments for your shares for your likes i really really appreciate it so like everyone else probably you have already set your goals for this year if you have not please check my last video where i talk about some of the mistakes to avoid while goal setting if you have already set your goals you are ready it, hey i just wanted to share some of the things that i have observed that are some of the times time wasters that you need to make sure that you look out for this they all look well and probably when you are doing them your reasons are very good but i have observed that they can delay your progress when it comes to achieving your goals or your dreams number one your phone <laughs> i think as much as our phones are great because we do so many things with it we are able to even create content we are able to connect with family and friends you are able to speak to so many people but what i have observed is that if you are not careful it can delay you because you spend so much time sometimes just scrolling by without even realizing what you are doing or sometimes you consume content that is not helping you to achieve your dreams or sometimes you are even going back to things that you are not supposed to simply because you are on your phone you know when you see someone that that relationship you knew that it was supposed to be over but then next thing you did not block that person or mute them and you see something and all of a sudden you are thinking that okay maybe they are not bad that is an extreme case but the reality is that if you are not intentional about your phone usage you can end up just spending all your time on it instead of implementing your goals number two you treat everything as if it's agent or important not everything that is agent is important that is one of the lessons i had to learn that just because something looks agent or just because something feels like it has to be done right now it does not necessarily mean that it is important or it does not mean that i am the person who's supposed to attend to it and that is the third reason you think or you believe that you are the only one who can help others or you believe that you are the only one who's supposed to to rescue others that is one of the things i had to unlearn that i cannot save everybody because at the end of the day i'm not a savior i'm not jesus christ and it is not an easy one especially if you are a giver and you're a problem solver you know but you need to be honest with yourself there is only so much you can do as you are only one if you want to achieve your goals you will have to learn to say no and that leads to my other factor time waster that you need to be aware of and that is saying yes to everything you know what as much as you've got a good heart as much as you want to be everywhere the reality is that there is only so much you can do you cannot say yes to every invite you cannot say yes to every request you cannot say yes to everything that is happening you have to you have to be okay with knowing that you cannot be everywhere you have to be okay that some opportunities are not for you you have to be okay that some events you unfortunately you cannot attend to them and that is one of the time wasters that a lot of us are guilty of because we simply find it so hard to say no and it's because of how we were raised where people made us feel guilty for saying no or for prioritizing yourself so i hope that this is the year where you will learn to say no and you will be okay that you will not be afraid of the fear of missing out and the other one 
Last year, I made a commitment to myself to say that I am going to finish whatever I'm started. You know, if we are honest, it's very exciting to start a new thing. You know, when you start something, you are excited, you have all these wishes and dreams and expectations. But the real hard work, it starts in the middle when you don't see the immediate results, when you don't feel like what you are doing makes a difference or it matters. So last year, I told myself that whatever I'm going to start, I'm going to finish it. Even when it meant a book, I would read a book and I'm going to finish it, even if it gets boring, you know. And I remember I read this book, the financial lessons of a man from Babylon and they speak in that English yeah they thou and whatever I wanted to stop it but because I had committed myself and I told myself that I'm a finisher I actually did it and at the end I was so proud of myself so be careful that you don't just start things but you never finish them because starting and starting new things all the time and leaving them in the middle because they get hard or maybe you are bored it can also delay you from reaching your goals so one of the affirmations i like to even when i'm exercising is saying i'm a finisher because sometimes honestly i don't feel like finishing even in the middle of an exercise i've got excuses like, why do I have to do this? This is not easy. This is not nice. But remember, you are a finisher. Let me know which one resonates with you. I, it's not an easy one because sometimes it means that you have to create boundaries and people will not be okay with you. All of a sudden now you are saying no to them. You are not saying yes to every invite. You are finishing things that you used to to not finish or you are not always on your phone you know the problem with phones is that they they give these people this thing that they can access you anytime you know people feel like if they send you an sms you must respond immediately or if they call you you must respond immediately but the truth is that we have other things that we are busy with thank you so much for watching until so far don't forget to subscribe to like to comment thank you so much